All right, the bottom of our anvil is all flat. Now we're gonna do some bluing on it. I've never done bluing of anything before. I went with a cold blue because I didn't wanna do the hot bluing process and then uh, getting it hot and then maybe messing with the temper of the anvil. So I purchased some Birchwood Casey Super Blue. Usually this is used on guns. Um, what the process is, is we're gonna clean it with some acetone, wipe it down with some water, um, and then we'll start applying our blue, um, Super Blue. I'm just going to use a rag for this. In between, uh, it says like you can uh, repeatedly apply this uh, to get a deeper or a darker blue or black color on it. So we're going to apply it with a rag, um, wash it off with water. Then we don't have any uh, actual steel wool, so I'm just going to use a Scotch Brite that I uh, found in the shop here. Buff it off, and then we'll try a couple of different applications here. I'm going to start out with the bottom of this, so that way, if I don't like the way that it looks, I haven't screwed up the entire anvil here. So we're going to run through about two or three different processes here. It says use cold water. I'm just going to use uh, room temperature water coming out of the faucet, and uh, it's going to be a little bit of experiment, but uh, I think it's going to turn out okay. And uh, because uh, hopefully this is going to turn out real good, because I plan on using this on a couple other projects I'll have in the future. So. Uh, let's get started and check it out. definitely a lot darker um, I'm gonna see about going to get in some steel wool on there to see if I get a little bit better polish out of it but uh, it covers pretty good definitely darkens up I probably will not do any more than four coats on the bottom the sides are gonna be kind of a TBD based off of how they turned out there's a lot more uh, crevices and stuff on the sides there so I'll just see how it goes I, I like the polish better but the problem with the polish is, is it's just not gonna stay that way long before it gets rusted again so I'll continue to put the blue on the uh, sides and see how that turns out. So hopefully it looks pretty good. Just gotta remember to take some before and after pictures. All right, so we're back. I went and I bought some steel wool for, uh, this one's actually for doing metal. Um, so we're going to go through, and before I get started though, I just wanna do a quick spin around here so you can see all the different angles just so we can do some before and after shots. Because I always forget to do that. And I think I'm going to do about four or five coats on this. So, um, And I'm not going to stop any of them. I've got some water in here. i got the rags ready to roll. I think, I think that is the one for that. Oh, there's the one for that. All right, cool. So uh, here we go. We're going to get started. <music> Thank you. 
so that is uh, six. It may have been seven. I might have lost track. Uh, seven coats on there. It's pretty uniform. I'm um, not sure how it looks right now on your guys' end, but uh, it is uniform. It's kind of got a dull bluish black um, kind of finish to it. But uh, there are some spots down here where I didn't even really realize that I guess I didn't clean up the rust as well as what I should have. But uh, the uh, super blue doesn't adhere to the rusted parts at all. But everywhere else on there looks pretty good. So I'm going to shine it up one last time and then show some final pictures on it. But in all in all, the anvil is done and ready to go into action. It's day 65 of the quarantine. We have completed another project on the books. The anvil is now flat for the surface for hammering. We have used our Birchwood Super Blue to take it from a shiny color down to a gunmetal black. Now we must proceed on to the next project. So the question is, should we A, finish out the shipping container or should we be start the drill press project so if you have any comments leave them below if you like subscribe and we will be on to further business